And so you have to be ready to, to cruise through these different things. Please ensure that you tap, ensure that you're seeing my screen. Eh? You, you, you know, just look for my video, then double tap on it and it, it shows maximum. Okay, let's go through that very fast. We are looking at um, light. Oh, when did I last write dates? So today is, uh, what's the date today? 27. Okay, 27. So we start, we are starting with the laws of reflection. The laws of reflection of light. The laws of reflection. Uh -huh. How does the first law state? How does the first law state? The anyway. the normal the incidence rate of the reflected ray all lie in the same plane. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> the that's incident is, that's uh -huh. rate. The incident ray, the reflected ray, and the normal, the point of incidence all lie in the same plane. Yes, the incident ray. The incident ray, you take the incident ray, the reflected ray. Then we pick and the normal at the point of incidence. And the no more. At the point of instance, all these lie in the same plane. They all lie in the same plane. The instant ray, the reflected ray, and the normal, the point of instance, or lie in the same plane. Uh -huh. The second one. The second one. The second one. The angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. The angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Now remember, we're just reviewing these things. So I will be switching from reflection to refraction. I want to refer to different um, components of light, different uh, areas or subtopics of light so that you may be able to handle um, even when they ask you a similar concepts in refraction. So we say the angle of incidence, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection what is the angle of incidence if someone says define the angle of incidence what do you say supposing i ask you to define the angle of incidence what do you say what is meant by the angle of incidence yes someone Teacher, pardon the question. What is the angle of incidence? If I ask you, define. So, question. Define the Roman one, part A. I want you to define the angle of incidence. And also define the angle of reflection. Let me try. Yes, Sissy. The angle of incidence. The angle, the angle of incidence is the angle mm -hmm. between the reflect the incident ray and the normal at the point of incidence. Excellent. That's it. That is it. So the angle of incidence is simply the angle between 
the incident ray and the normal at the point of incidence. Now remember for reflection, we say, if this is your reflecting surface, which we can call a plane mirror, for example, mm -hmm. if this is our reflecting mm -hmm. surface, then you have here, the ray which strikes the reflecting surface is called the incident ray. And at this point, the point where the incident ray strikes the reflecting surface is called the point of incidence. So at the point of incidence, we draw a normal. That means we draw a perpendicular line. Normal. The word the normal means perpendicular. Like for me, right now I'm sitting, I'm sitting normally. I'm sitting on some chair, normally. Uh, I've seen people who do not walk normally. <laughs> I always, I always tell people, it's quite interesting. I found some guys, eh? so you find some guys in town walking. They walk like this. Eh? They walk, and they don't walk normally. They don't walk normally. Instead of walking normally, of course, if you're walking normally, you have to walk perpendicular to the ground. But you find others, you find them like this. Eh? Hello? Like, that's not being normal. If you are to be normal, you have to, you see, 90 degrees with the ground. So at the point of incidence, we are drawing the normal. This normal is not just called a normal. It is called the normal at the point of incidence. So 